Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another episode of Black Myth Wukong. As always, I just want to thank all the supporters of this series, my channel, my channel in general. I really appreciate you guys, and uh, honestly, I've been having a ton of fun playing Black Myth Wukong. For those of you guys out there that might have like an arachnophobia, Today is the day that we head into like the gigantic lair of spiders. So it's going to be a crazy one. So that being said, let's get into it and let's check it out. All right, guys, so here we are back in Black Myth Wukong. At the end of part six, we left off here at the very first shrine of chapter four. And today we are going to be continuing. However, before we do that, I want to uh, kind of level up a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is head back to uh, the Zodiac Village. All right, guys, so here we are back in the Zodiac Village, and essentially I haven't really come back here to level up in a minute, uh, at least through the entire last part of Chapter 3, so I'm hoping I have some mind cores saved up. All right, so let's request medicine. We can go to Zoo Dog here, and you can get new medicines every time you come back to the village, which is pretty cool. All right, body fleeting powder and mirage pill, let's go. All right, so now we're going to make Celestial Medicines. Oh, we have five mine cores, not six. So we can get, uh, looks like, two upgrades here. I think Stamina is going to be where I lead off with. It's just been um, tricky lately, I think, with certain, uh, with, like, switching to the Thrust Stance. I think requires a lot more Stamina than staying in the original Smash Stance. If you need more pills... All right, sweet. Hell yeah, let's freaking go. All right, so we're going to boost our stamina, and yeah, there's a good, that's a nice little chunk. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to hold off for now on the rest of it. Let's go to make mortal medicines and see if there's anything cool that we can make here. Um, I look for the ones that you can, I can make a lot of, like this, for example. Uh, that way I can kind of use these in like you know, a lot of fights and not worry about using them. This one's, right now I have 12 of those. This one's body warming powder. Uh, let's see what else we can do. It's the licorices that are really kind of rare and you need them for a lot of stuff. Um, all right, and we can make some of these. Actually, I think I'm gonna make the tiger subduing pellets instead. All right, sweet. We can check his store really quick. All right, let's see what we got. Long Aura Amplification Pellets. Definitely buying all three of those. Those are super good for hard boss fights. Uh, this increases considerable amount of might. Uh, upon all use, all actions cost no stamina for a short duration. This one's nice, the Ascension Powders. These are really good, actually. Um, but they are very rare. This one gives us the formula, the formula to create something that increases our maximum mana. So I'll go with that, and then I think that I will leave everything else. All right, let's sell some of our stuff. Okay, and looks like, yeah, there it is right there. All right, now moving on to the gourd. It's been a little while since we actually came back to the Zodiac Village, so it's kind of cool to get all these different level ups. All right, upgrade the gourds. I, I feel like I have more gourds than this. I just don't understand um, why they don't show up here, but I guess I only have these two. All right, upgrade drinks. Um, also, the drinks that I have, the other ones aren't upgradable here either. Maybe I'm missing an item or something. All right, now in the store, we have Awakened Wine Worm. This is really good, super rare. And Luosia Fragrant Vine. And we have a new brew here. Each ship recovers 35% of maximum health. When health is below half, using the gourd grants a considerable amount of focus. Wow, that's actually super good. All right, sick. Let's see if we can actually upgrade that. Oh, but we have to give up the... Each ship recovers 36% of maximum health and a moderate amount of mana. Ooh, both of these are super good. I think I'm going to stick with the Jade Essence for now. I think overall that's going to be more powerful. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, let's see here. 
I think I'll stick with this one for now. We can always switch back later at a different point in time. All right, and I think we are pretty good. Yeah, looks like we are good over here. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here and I'm going to harvest these. All right, looks good. And I'm going to see if I have any seeds to give him. You want to be checking in and... Yeah, I do have seeds. Sweet. As they say, fine soil yields fine sprouts and fine sprout... <laughs> Leaving so soon. All right, so you want to be giving him seeds as often as possible because that's going to get you all the ingredients you need to build stuff. Now we are going to check out my friend over here, the Yin Tiger. See if we can upgrade any of our armor. Back so soon. All right, so let's go to craft armor first and foremost. Fine gold thread two. All right, this is what we need to make. But I don't know where I'm going to get that fine gold thread. Maybe I can buy it from him. Oh, dang. That would have been nice if I could. All right, so let's go back. We can't craft exactly what we need, but we can upgrade the armor that we did buy, which I believe is right... Golden Arm Guard. There it is right here. And we still don't have enough to upgrade it. All right, so it is what it is. We're just going to go with what we got, guys. All right, so let's get back into chapter four. All right, so we're just going to run back over here to this shrine. All right, let's freaking get into it. Probably going into the most complicated chapter ever. All right, so we're going to go to the Webbed Ridge Estate of the Zoo. All right, guys, so here we are back in chapter four, and we are going to be moving forward from this point in time. Monkeys. <laughs> Let me fix you up a little. Yeah. Welcome, good sirs. The feast is all set. Please come in and be our guests. Gentlemen, you're fashionably late. Is your lady not joining us again this time? Our lady uh, prefers not to be seen in the lower realm. But, but she's been thinking of you all and sent this small token. She hopes your lady will recover soon and pay her visit up there. <laughs> It's a pity she didn't come. Or she would certainly enjoy a splendid show we've prepared for her. <laughs> but now, the gift's gone and blood's been shed. I say, you two should take the fall. We're just servants, madam. What's the jest? <laughs> Zhu Ba Jie. I know you find your look embarrassing, but why hide from my mother with another pig face? <laughs> Rude girl. Don't you know I'm a pious Buddhist? Give me your mother's name, and I'll check my list. You heartless ass. 
After you ruined her house and her reputation, you're telling me you don't remember her? Reputation? <laughs> Yao Guai's care about reputation, all she cared about was lust. Now I know, you're one of her spiderlings, aren't you? <laughs> well, well. Your rudeness is forgiven. Show some respect. Maybe I'll kindly pay your mother a visit. <laughs> visit or not, I'm afraid that is not your call. <laughs> Dang, that was a freaking awesome cutscene. And let me just say, like I said, entering the freaking land of spiders. Let's go. Oh, come on. Oh, whoops. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, that was a weird looking attack. Come on, let's get it. Let's go. All right, let's freaking get it. Come on. Let's go. Oh, whoops. All right, let's frickin' go. Gonna get the immobilized right there. Try to build up my focus as much as possible right here. Come on. Oh, that hurt. Whoo, so did that. Whoo, dang. That was a sweet little combo right there, though. All right. Oh, come on. Come on, let's get it. Change your gross nature! Uh, yeah, uh, sure. We are so low compared to you, a glorious admiral of the court. A last monkey still fresh in his grave. And here you are, another monkey sidekick. Cut your bullshit! Get your mother to beg for mercy, and maybe I'll spare your foolish life! <sighs> Truth is, the thing you seek is right here in the hollow. Flee now if you're too scared to come in. Scared my hoof! I'll destroy this rotten hole right now! Let's see where else you'd build your lair! That's so funny, just seeing him like waddle off like that. <laughs> He's a funny dude. Um, kind of an interesting story, so it's like Bagier had some kind of like romantic fling with that girl's mother, who's obviously like the queen spider-ess, so this kind of a really, I liked how they transformed right there at the beginning. Ooh, another wake and a wine worm, let's go. Yeah, I liked how the, they, tr uh, Bagier transformed us at the beginning, I liked their voices, that was, that was a fun scene right there. All right, now moving forward, I'm just checking out this area, making sure that we're not really missing anything. All right, looks like there's something in here or over here. I hear something. All right, here we go. All right, sweet. Okay, so just gonna grab this chest. Mindcore? Oh, that would have been nice though. Okay, so let's head back over here. All right, just make sure that we'll check up in this area. 
I'm just going to look over here. I think we've already been over here. All right, so let's move forward into the next area. Okay, so it looks like there's something or there's definitely some stuff around here. All right, cool. All right, so got to figure out where that giant spider went and where Bajier went and uh, whatever that golden needle was that she like shot into his head, like absorbed into him. All right, sweet. Let's go, maximum health. Guys, I have not upgraded my health at all other than natural positions in the story, so it's kind of a fun way to play, but definitely makes some of the bosses a little bit harder for sure. Okay. All right, well, it looks like the only where place to go is down in this gigantic hole. Oh, man. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Well, that wasn't absolutely freaking terrifying or anything. Let's see what we got right here. That's crazy. I don't know what happened. It's like he got attacked by the spider and somehow survived and woke up next to all this treasure. <laughs> Doesn't really make that much sense, but... All right, let's see. Ooh, a new Curios. That looks fun. All right, let's come up here. And we have our first shrine in the webbed hollow. And this, guys, is a labyrinth of a place, let me tell you. Ooh, that looks really nice. Gold tree core. All right, so I need two gold tree cores wherever I get that. Looks like we also unlocked the chitin staff. Upon a successful hit with a charged heavy attack, each focus point cost slightly recovers health. Interesting. Or this one grants continuous focus for a brief moment after seeing through the enemy. That looks really good right there. Plus maximum mana 30 and attack 80. That's insanely good. All right, so I'm going to try to unlock that. Let's see if we can buy some freaking gold tree cores. That'd be freaking awesome. All right, so what do we have here? Ooh, there's a gold tree core. There's one. Oh, man, that's pretty awesome. We only need one more in order to get that. All right, what else do we have here? Refined iron sand, fine gold thread too. All right, that's another armor piece. Okay, and then four mine cores. Let's freaking go right now. Um, and then it looks like everything else. I'll take all six of the anti-miasma powders. Okay, so we have licorice down here. Man, I love how the stores refresh at the beginning of a new chapter. It really makes getting a lot of this stuff awesome. All right, so I think that that is going to conclude what we can do. Let's go to craft. We can make another piece of the armor set right here. All right, and I would like to make the chest plate now. All right, so it does look like... Am I already wearing this? No. What am I wearing right now? This? Whatever it is, it gives me the exact same defense from whatever I'm already wearing. All right, so I'm gonna craft it. Beautiful, let's go. I'm gonna equip it, okay? And we're almost there for unlocking the last piece right here. Upon successful hits from spirit skills grants massive focus upon reverting. I should have taken the mask actually before I took the chest piece. We'll just have to get two more pieces of fine gold thread at some point in the story right now. 
All right, so we're looking pretty good here, guys. I'm going to take a look at my curio that I just got. Man, we have a bunch of stuff here right now. All right, let's go here. What do we have? Considerably increases defense, heals damage, or deals damage to, tar to surrounding enemies upon taking hits. That's actually really good. Considerably increases maximum mana. That's really good. Slightly increases four Bane's resistance. That one's pretty cool. And then we have this one right here, which moderately increases poison resistance. All right, sick. All right, well, I think I'm going to put on the gold spike plate. That looks really good. And all right, guys, let's freaking go from there. I'm going to go down to the gourd. So I do have another gourd. For some reason, I can't upgrade this one. When the gourd is full, the first slip replenishes to full health. All right. And oh, actually, we got a new relic, I think from beating chapter three. Oh man, so I still have to get both of these. So the first one I chose was Opportune Watcher. Considerably increases focus gained upon consecutive light attack hits. All right. Um, all right, well, it looks like I already chose that one. So let's go to this one right here. This one slightly extends invincibility duration of the first move of all varied combos. This one narrows the window of rock solid, and this one temporarily increases attack after a perfect dodge. Interesting. This one slightly extends invincibility duration of the first move of all varied combos. I'm going to take this one, I think. All right, I just got to get better at those perfect dodges. Now, Hubris knows the nose chases fragrance just as the mind craves ecstasy, enhances the ability to find hidden ingredients in the wild. All right, this one gains a moderate damage bonus for a short time after casting a spell. That's a good one. This one, focus points can be charged up to four within the Ring of Fire, and this one moderately extends dodge invincibility duration. Wow. That's probably a really good one right there. Okay. All right, so we have our new relics. Man, and we have seven freaking sparks. Let's go. So we're getting a pr pretty solid uh, boost right now. When stamina is depleted, a, a weaker light attack finisher can still be performed. This one, perfect dodges, leave an illusion in your wake. All right, so... I think Thrust Stance, we're almost all the way through it. When with four focus points, automatically perform a Thrust Heavy attack immediately after a roll. Oh, wow. When with four focus points. That's pretty cool. Exempts all stamina cost of a short duration upon seeing through the enemy in Tactical Retreat. Those are both really good, guys. Um, okay. So let's go over here. I'm going to take both of these and this one. And we're going to go back to the first page over here. And I'm going to start putting points into stamina. I just think that stamina is so absolutely imperative for thrust dance that uh, it just makes sense to put points into stamina. All right, so here we are at the beginning of the webbed hollow, guys, which is a completely different area. And I have already cleared this chapter in a different run through or else I would be literally be running all over the place in a like blind fervor just because it's <laughs> it can be really confusing down here. Let's go. As you can see like thrust stance with high focus points can be super cheap guys, but it's very good. Like if you if you learn how to utilize it right, it's very good. Um, but like I said, it just costs a lot of stamina. All right, so we're just going to run up here. I believe there's something in here, and there is. Let's get that. Hell yeah, another drink and soak. That sounds great to me. All right, it looks like this leads... Oh, there's something here. Wow, these guys are strong. Actually, I'm not sure I've ever actually gone up this way, guys. So I'm just going to check it out. These freaking spiders and their self-destruct. All right, sounds good. Wow, there's more. All right, so I guess let's just check out what's up here. Okay, here we go. I'm 
me tell you guys, this place, there are so many freaking spiders and scorpions and bugs in this place down here. It is freaking crazy. Alright, let's go through here. Huh. Why do I feel like this is a trap? <laughs> I guess that's just like... I guess that's it. It just leads to this room. And then you just go back. All right, so never actually been here before. Nice little area that leads to a place with Will. I figured that that would lead somewhere kind of more interesting than that. It's like this whole path right here. But it is what it is. So yeah, like I said, guys, like even though I've already like explored this entire area, you know, it's just kind of... Um, it's still super ultra confusing. Come on. There we go. Let's get this will. Okay, sick. So I'm going to kind of purview this area. I think that's like where we started down there. I'm pretty sure that's the first shrine. And then we want to head down into there. That's going to take us down. But for now... I'm just going to jump down here and I'm going to go explore just the rest of these areas down here. Once you explore these areas up here like this, you don't have to worry about coming back here because once you start to go down into the hollow, it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. So it's best to just like check this area out now. I got to check out that focus point. Come on. Okay, so that's four focus points, which means that after... Oh, gosh. Oh, but it uses your frickin'... Your... That's weird. Okay, so you can do a thrust after four focus points, but it will waste all your focus points, and so... I guess that's helpful, but not, a, like, super helpful at the same time. Because a lot of time you're tr I'm trying not to like use all my focus in one pure go, um, unless I'm really just going for like a pure damage hit. I don't think that I can get across this area down here. Yeah, that looks super far down. All right, so let's just run back up here and go check out this area off to the left. Grab some stuff along the way. Ooh, licorice. That's nice. All right, so let's take care of this guy. Okay, cool. That sounds good to me, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't think you can go down right here. Yep, that's the end of the line. All right, cool. So from here, guys, we are just going to proceed down into the area down here, guys. All right, so let's proceed into the webbed hollow. That's where I jumped down up there. And we're going to start exploring this whole area right here. All right. See, like, as you can see, you instead of using all your focus points at once, you can kind of, like, keep them at high and then, like, periodically build them back up here and there. And I feel like that is more like the more efficient way to utilize thrust stance is in that manner. And I think that the it overall works better because thrust stance works when you have high focus points, but it's a lot weaker when you have lower focus points. All right. Sweet, there we go. Plus it has one of the best like a uh, little invincibility window dodging mechanics right there when it jumps back. It's one of the best ones. I'd say better than Smash Stance and definitely better than Pillar Stance. So that is one of its uh, strengths. Wow, there's just so many uh, enemies in these areas, guys. Come on. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm just going to continue going through these areas, guys. Oh, what was that? 
I don't know what I just did. It wasn't a it wasn't a flash step. Come on. Man, let me tell you, these guys are a pain. They have a lot of health and they're super annoying. It's another freaking enemy? They're like everywhere. Come on. Oh gosh. I don't know what is attacking me right there, but it really hurts. Come on. Where is that guy? Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh. They're literally everywhere, guys. They're just like swarming the freaking area. All right. Let us proceed. We're just going to keep on down these paths. Oh my gosh, another dude. Come on, jump down here already. All right, stay up there. Punk. Oh my gosh, there's so many things here. Oh my gosh, what is happening? That was crazy. These spiders are really dangerous, guys. They self-destruct. If they all gang up on you, they get really dangerous. I'm going to kill this dude. Oh. The nice thing about these archers is that as long as you hit them, you interrupt them. Okay, little spider, get back here. Okay. Well, that was a pain, not going to lie. This is definitely the way. I just want to... Yeah, I saw something over here. I knew there was something about to drop down. All right. There we go. Okay, so a little like tip here, guys. When you get to one of these things and you have low mana with the Jade Essence, what I'm going to do... Oh, actually, this isn't a full spirit. So I'm just going to take two swigs. But if it's a blue spirit, you can fully use your gourd to drink, It'd take your mana back up to full, and then get a full gourd replenished from a blue spirit right there. So that's a really good thing if you're spending a long time between shrines. All right. So we have two pathways, right? We have that way, and we have this way. I'm going to run this way to the right, just to see what's there. All right, a blue spirit. Literally what we were just talking about here, guys. So I can basically go all out right here and fully get back my mana in a second. All right, there we go. Oh, come on. All right, hopefully we get him right here. This guy doesn't seem too bad, though. Oh, maybe I spoke a little soon. He's definitely fast. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I definitely spoke a little soon on that dude. He's so fast. Come on. Come on, Tiger. Let's go. Tiger ain't gonna lose to a bug. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna detransform. Like I said, what I was just talking about. I'm gonna use my entire gourd, heal all my mana. All right, and then I'm gonna take the spirit, right? Which is gonna fully replenish all of my healing gourd. So kind of those guys, all those little bosses, are a really good way to just like, it's basically a mini shrine when you get one of them. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? 
Gold tree core. We can make that other weapon. Let's go. I'm going to stick to the thrust stance for now because it's super uh, important for taking one out one of the later bosses. But once we do that, then we're going to make that new one right there. All right. Come on. All right. Like I said, stamina is the problem every time. All right, so let's run through here. Can't exactly recall where we are at the moment, but it does look like we are going down. All right, cool. Let's go. And we're just going to slowly proceed. I actually feel like we missed something here. I'm going to go down just for now. Um, and we'll make our way to the next shrine. But I think I'm going to have to jump back up to the top and check out a certain area. There was one direction that we didn't go. So I'm curious to see uh, where that direction goes. There's like several things that you need to do down here in the, in the whatever it is, the webbed hollow. And it gets really confusing down here. It's basically like a labyrinth. Come on. All right. I don't know what's behind me. Oh, there's a shrine right there. Sick. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? All that saving for literally nothing right there. Oh my gosh, guys. All right. I got to use it. The freaking archer. Let's go. Oh, I love the tiger. Freaking tiger's awesome. All right, let's get this. Can I even pick it up in this form? I can't. Okay, cool. All right, so just going to gather this right here, get some snakehead mushroom, and we're going to come back here. This is our next shrine. All right, can't remember the name of this one exactly. Let's see what we got here in brew. Oh, it looks like we have another soak. Using the gourd moderately extends the duration of the next ring of fire, so I'm good on that. Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to rest. And now we're going to travel... Whoops, my fault right there, double rest. Now we're going to travel back up to the last uh, upper hollow, guys. All right, and we're going to check out this one corner area that I want to see just to make sure we haven't missed anything. All right, sweet. So here we are back at the upper hollow. All right. And what we're going to do is run around here, go up these stairs. All right. I don't think there's anything up there. Okay, so let's just keep going down here. And instead of heading to the left this time, we are going to head over to the right, which I believe we can access by going this way. Oh my gosh, these guys are so annoying. Oh man, ah, there's so many bosses. Or I guess just regular enemies, I guess you would call them. That's so weird. I feel like this is just taking us back to where we were, but I swear there was another path up there. That's so strange. Like I said, guys, this place is so confusing. All right, so we're just going to keep on going right here. All right. I believe we already went up that way. There was a boss over there. What is through here? Nothing's through here. All right, so it looks like that literally just took us back to where we were. All right, so that's my fault. 
But like I said, I'm trying to just navigate this stuff as much as you guys. All right, so let's just keep on jumping down. Which way do we go, actually? This way? Yep. Okay, and down here. And this should take us back to literally where we just were. All right, now from here, I don't see much around us. So it looks like this is the only way we can head. So let's just keep on going in this direction. Oh, this is the area I was looking for over here, I think. Oh man, I shouldn't have froze him in the air. Come on. Okay, so when you're moving from that second shrine, we're going to head down here to the right. And we're going to look for the treasure room. I believe it's over here somewhere. All right. These spiders, you got to be careful. Not all of them self-destruct, but you should just assume that they all self-destruct, to be honest. All right, so let's absorb this. Take back some will. And from here, we're going to run over in this direction. Oh, of course, there's a freaking enemy trying to kill us. All right, do we have anti-miasma powder? We do. There's a lot of poison down here, so... It looks like that's a pathway down there. I'm not going to just, like, jump down there yet. All right. Okay, now that we took care of that dude, looks like this was the pathway we could have jumped down into. Come on. I wonder what's down here. It's almost like I'm exploring this again for the first time, even though I've already freaking explored it, which is pretty crazy. All right, so let's go check out what's up here. Looks like there might be something interesting. Okay, cool. Take some of this. All right, nice. Let's just keep going up this way. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on. All right, so we're just going to run up here. Oh, here's the little mini scorpion lord. This dude is a little bit tricky. But it looks like we are on good standing with all of our... Oh my gosh. All right, literally out of stamina. Well, definitely making short work of this dude right now. Come on. Oh my gosh. Dude is just getting wrecked. Come on. Come on. Let's go. What the heck is that thing? All right, so we got a new soak. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to take another miasma powder. I feel like I might need to put on like a poison resist curio for down here, to be honest. All right, so we're just going to do the same thing as before. Fully heal up our mana. Sick, let's go. Like I said, the true mini shrines of the game. Sweet. Scorpion Prince, let's go. Alright, so, just gonna proceed through here. 
There's the Luaja Fragrant Wine. Another freaking guy right here. That's super annoying. Oh my gosh, come on. Looks like we got a key item somehow. Okay. All right, now that that is done with, hopefully. That was super annoying. Okay, cool. All right, so after you beat the little scorpion prince right there, we're just going to run up these stairs. I'm pretty sure there's something cool up here. Come on. All right, there we go. Okay, so up to two sparks. We ran up to the top of the stairs. I know there's something around here. Okay, so we got some items right here. Sick. What else do we have? All right, let's run over here, get some will. Oh, man. I'm, like, baffled by how many... I forgot even how many enemies are in this place. And how often they freaking poison you guys. All right, there we go. Okay, so from there, we're going to head over here to the right. I'm pretty sure we're, our first talisman point is right here. Yeah, it is. All right, so there are three of these talismans that we need to collect. Blast this talisman! Those old rascals. On your feet already, are you? Best keep clear of this mess. It's for your own good. Go find the pig before it's too late. All right, guys, so here is our first talisman point. And when you get to them, you just have to remove them. Sweet. So that's like a Chinese magic seal. Pretty cool. All right, so from there, let's head over here. Is there anything in here? Yeah, let's go. Worry-free brew. That's pretty cool. I, I think I actually missed that the first time. All right, so from there, we're just going to head down here to the left. Okay, it does look like there's some will back here. So let's get that. Come on. All right, that dude is down. Dang, up to or already up to level 67. Pretty crazy. Come on, don't fly away. Okay, sick. Uh, I don't know what's down there, but honestly, it looks dangerous. <laughs> so let's stay up here for now. We can always jump down there later. Oh my gosh, what the heck are these things? These things are gigantic, guys. Looks like there's a bunch of little ones as well. Okay, something died. Alright, so it looks like I'm kind of getting them both in my sights, which is nice. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm out of stamina. All right, there we go. Jeez, guys, that was a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, another one. All right, at least those ones are easier. All right, so let's continue on from here. Hopefully we'll make our way to another shrine soon. Oh my gosh, of course it is. All 
All right, almost done with this dude. Wow, these guys are definitely tougher than before. All right, sick, our first meditation point. Let's go. I could use one of these right now. All right, sweet. Well, that was a nice little semblance of peace in the madness. Looks like there's something up here. So let's grab that. And then it does look like our next shrine is right over here, thankfully. Oh, looks like I'm about to get... Oh my gosh. Ooh, that was a nice dodge. Come on. Oh, frickin' poisoned again? Alright, well, at least we're at the frickin' shrine. Okay, cool. Alright, I know I missed a couple things, uh, so maybe we'll check back in some areas, but at least for now we can rest and kind of recoup before we move on with this absolute frickin' labyrinth that uh, this place is right here. Here's the worry-free brew. brew. Each sip recovers 24% of maximum health when at critical health massively increases recovery. So that's pretty good, but it, no, hard to beat restores mana, right? And then we have another soak. For a short duration after the guard inflicts a poison state to the destined one himself. Interesting. So that's for like a poison build later on. All right, cool. Well, from here, I think... Oh, what's this? Oh, just a Mirage Pill. All right, well, let us proceed. All right, guys, so I actually just double-checked some of these maps just to see if I missed anything on the way down here. And it looks like I pretty much found everything except for one thing that I missed at the very beginning. Um, so first thing, actually, there might be even two things here that we can hit. So first, I'm going to travel back to the Upper Hollow. All right, guys, so from the upper hollow, there is actually a secondary path that we can take. Um, so from the shrine, we're going to turn right and go up these stairs, basically the same way we went before and the way that I had been going, except if you come down these stairs and run straight to this fire right here, instead of going right where I went before, you can actually drop down here. And this is what I kept like intuitively like understanding that I was missing. All right, so now that we've found the path, I am going to take you guys to fight this next boss called the uh, Venom Taoist. And he is actually going to be a key part of chapter four alongside also basically giving you the ultimate piece for, uh, what's the word? for the full, like, poisoning your self-armor set. It's just really powerful, honestly. All right, first we gotta get through all these frickin' punks. All right, cool. Sounds good to me. Man, I love how little mana that frickin' Immobilize takes now. It is awesome. I'm also gonna show you guys a really good way to farm Will here in a second. Uh, but wait till we get to the next, um, the next shrine. Oh my gosh, look at all these arms try to kill me. Oh my gosh, freaking crazy. Wow, they're really fast. Okay, so just going to cure that. And we are just going to keep on running through here. Alright, kill this dude. Booyah. Alright, we'll grab this will from over here. Kind of a crazy, like spider's lair down here uh, it's honestly like <laughs> if i had to like walk through this in real life i would be super freaked out that would be i mean honestly i don't really have a, a problem with spiders but 
I mean, imagine seeing some of like ones this size and just like being in their freaking lair, right? It'd be so crazy. All right, sick. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. All right, let's just freaking get through here, guys. All right, so you're just basically going to continue the path. Um, I'm kill I like to kill everything, especially on my first playthrough, just because, you know, it gets you the most will. You're trying to level up. What is just happening? What just freaking shot me? All right. Okay, so this is an interesting area right here. It is on the right path. There is going to be this, like, mini scorpion boss, but there's a lot of these guys hi hiding up in the wings. And so you want to take this part real slow here, guys, all right? So you can look up, you can see where all of them are, right? So there's one right there, there's one right there. Obviously, if you trigger all of them, you're going to die really fast. All right, here we go. Hopefully... Hopefully we didn't trigger one of those guys to fall down. Okay, now I need stamina. Ow. Punk. Ooh. I'm actually surprised he hit me with that. Even with my dodge, too. Honestly, these scorpion guys, kind of a pain in the, kind of a pain, guys. Hey, what's this back here? Ooh, we got some will. I will take that. Not going to jump down there because that is definitely not the right way. But this is the way over here. So I'm just going to continue over here. Uh, we're going to lure this guy down. Come on, you big asshole. There you go. Come on. Man, I wish that I could kill those guys, like, on that second combo. It'd be so much easier. You can get off a full first combo on them, and then the second one is when they start to uh, interrupt it. All right, there we go. That's why I kind of just, like, transition into the thrust step, like, kind of jump back move. All right, cool. What is up here? We need to go the other way. Oh, interesting. It looks like there's something up here. This is not the right way. I'm just checking out what's over here. Okay, well, it does look like there's some stuff here. But I don't want to mess with that stuff just yet, just because there's, like, this place is so big, as I'm sure that you guys have are starting to kind of realize. Um, and it's super easy to get lost. It's also super easy to like uh, lose where you're at. Ooh, it looks like our second meditation spot. All right, four sparks. I'm honestly really digging this outfit right now for Wukong. It looks really cool, I feel like. All right, so we're just going to run over here, grab this. Then we are going to go hit this shrine. Looks like there's some will down there, so we will grab that without falling off the cliff, hopefully. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys one of the best ways to farm exp in this game and it's perfect you need to get to this shrine right here which should be the pool of shattered jade all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to reignite the sparks i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to do this so i'm just going to reclaim all my sparks all right and then we're going to go into abilities and i'll put stuff into stamina just to have it but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to put all the points into attack all right and then we are going to basically shift through the pages until we get to transformations all right 
And we're going to also raise, raise each talent level, slightly increase the attack while transformed. Okay. And that is all you're going to need, right? Okay. So at that point in time, we're going to go to set spells. Okay. And we are going to switch to uh, Ashen Slumber right here, which is the transformation you get when you complete the Chubai Spear quest. For those of you guys that have been following this story playthrough guide from the beginning, you will know exactly how to get this. All right. So I'm going to switch to this. All right, and then you're gonna rest just to reset the transformation right here. All right, now, which is super, super cool, guys. How come I don't have my transformation out right now? That's kind of weird. Um, let's go back to it. All right, so let's go figure out what is wrong. I don't know why it's not showing my transformation here. Um, I, actually, I think it is. I think we're good. Yeah, I have it. All right, so essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to pop the transformation right here. If you hold R2 and press circle, he does a self-destruct. And what we're going to do is just going to run in here right before this one right here. And we are going to self-destruct. Boom. That's going to kill all the things in the area. Look how much freaking will we just got, guys. 1,700 will. All right. And we're just going to run back here. We're going to go back to the shrine. You're just going to rest really quickly. That's going to reset all the mobs. And then you're just going to run back in there and do that again. And as you guys can see, this is an insanely good way to, um, to freaking level up here. All right, there we go. I think you can get like up to like 2,700 or something. So that was 1,800 right there. All right, we're just going to come back here. We're just going to rest. We're going to do it again. And this is so far what I've found uh, the best way to farm will, the fastest way to farm will as of right now in the game. I'm sure there's like a more end game version of this, but um, as of right now in this chapter, okay, so I'm still leaving some of those guys alive, so I might be able to kill them all somehow. All right, so let's go back here. I'm just going to do this a few more times just to kind of get like a little bit of a uh, power level right here. All right, so I'm just going to rest again. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so let's go in here. Essentially, that's, that's all you're doing is you're just going into that transformation. The reason that I like made everything stronger is because if you don't fully level him up, how much was that? 1700. If you don't fully level up the transformation, he won't kill them in one shot. And if you're not killing them in one shot, then it's absolutely not really worth it. All right, so let's just rest right here. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to speed up this part of the story um, just so that you guys don't have to see it while I do some grinding right here. And uh, But then you can at least know exactly how to do this for your own playthroughs. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're up to 69. I think that I will burn this all the way to 70, and then we will proceed with the story from here. All right, guys, so after doing a little bit of quick grinding right there, I'm just going to go back in here, and I'm going to reignite the sparks. I'm going to reflesh out my trees. Okay, so we're just going to reclaim all sparks at once. All right, and then we are going to rebuild uh everything right here so i'm gonna actually come over here to this side right here all right and essentially we'll be doing this several times throughout the game where we respec our tree actually several times in chapter four actually um but it works out because i think that the game is meant you're meant to be respecing things and um it really helps for certain boss fights as you guys will see here in the future all right, perfect odds legion illusion in your wake, which explodes instantly. Uh, maybe I will take that. Let's go over to thrust stance right here. All right. And back over here. All right, and we will finish thrust stance right there. All right, so we're at 22 points. 
We're gonna go back into Immobilize right here. And we're going to go into Cloud Step. All right, that leaves us with four points left. Um, now let's see what else we want to necessarily do right here. Um, that extends the duration. I think from here, I'm going to go back and we're going to put points into uh, stamina right here. All right, so four points into stamina. Beautiful. All right, so we're basically respect right here. Now I'm going to show you guys essentially uh, where to find the Venom Taoist. Now, the interesting thing about this boss is that you're going to want to equip a not as good uh, or not as strong of a weapon for this boss uh, because you need to destroy um, certain parts of the boss and you can only hit him from behind, which can be hard to actually not kill him before you knock off all of his arms. So in order to do that, guys, what I'm going to do, I think, is switch to the Cloud Pattern Stone Staff. All right. This is just going to make us a little bit weaker overall. And so that hopefully we don't kill this boss too fast. But the trick is that you need to be able to hit him from behind. Right. So even though we're completely specced into Thrust Stance right now, all right, so basically you just run through there where we were farming, and we're gonna take out this giant cocoon thing to get him out of here. All right, here we go. Essentially, I'm just trying to build up my focus, right? All right, I'm gonna let my stamina recover. Okay, so you need to hit him from the back, guys. All right. All right. In order to break his arms, you need to hit him from the back part of himself. All right. So you really only want to hit him when he has his back turned, guys. All right. All right, there we go. So I think one of his arms fell off right there. All right, there we go. As you can see, I'm still doing so much damage against this guy, guys. Come on, fall off. All right, hopefully we'll get another one here in a second. All right, so right here from his back. Okay. So the, like I was saying, it's kind of tricky because I'm literally killing him so fast, even with a weaker weapon, you know? So that's the thing is you got to be really careful not to, uh, not to accidentally kill him. We need to do enough damage here. All right. All right, so we almost have our our immobilize back, which is makes it a lot easier to take off his arms, guys. Oh my gosh, ow. All right, so let's get behind him. Oh my gosh, he still has so many of his freaking arms. Okay, well, I'm basically out of stamina at this point, so... Alright, well, hopefully we did it. 
Because we only get one shot at this, guys. If I make a mistake, you guys will be able to see that at least you can find a way to get around it. Alright, let's hopefully, hopefully we got it. You audacious monkey! We'll settle our scores when I reach my full mastery! Alright, did we get it? We freaking got it. Alright, so that is the only way to get the Venomous Arm Guard, so it's really important that when you guys come into that fight, you're aware of the fact that you could miss something for good in the game. Um, but yeah, like I said, just switch your weapon to, you know, something not as strong. Now I'm going to go back to the Chubai Spear, and we're going to be really freaking strong. Um... All right, sick. So there are two parts to the Venomous Taoist quest. That was the first part. We're not going to get to the second part until later in the chapter here, guys. So for now, once you do that here at the Pool of Jader, uh, Pool of, uh, man, I can't remember the name of this shrine. What is it? Pool of Shattered Jade, I think. All right, we are just going to rest. Beautiful. All right, so I believe from here... We can start to proceed, like jump, actually, where do we go from here? I know there's some way to proceed. Uh, we do need to go back to a different shrine here in a second. I'm just gonna start running around. Oh yeah, we can go over there where we were before. All right, so we're just going to continue this way right here. At least we can jump down and get that uh, will that we saw over here. I think that's probably the next path forward. All right, so let's see here. All right. And, oh, actually, I think that we're basically stuck right here. Okay, so I don't see the exact path forward from where we're at. But at this point in time, it is okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there's no way across right here. Yeah, I mean, I see something over there. Oh, it does look like you can kind of jump down to that point over there. Oh, yeah, it does look like you can jump down to that point. All right, so let's run over there and figure out, you know, where we want to get going. That's where we came from. All right, so we will come over here, yada, 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 yada. And I believe, yep, perfect. All right, so we can jump down right here. Ooh, sneaky archer. I hate how they fly away right at that one time when you need them to just sit still for like 10 more seconds. Okay, so I'm just exploring right now. I, knew I need to go back to the upper or the verdure bridge at some point. Um, but I don't really mind exploring, so it is what it is. Part of the game, right? All right, so we're just going to keep on jumping down right here, getting further and further into this hollow area. All right, this looks a little interesting right here. All right, guys, this looks like we're getting into some dangerous territory. It looks There's like way more webs literally everywhere right here. Just making sure... We're not about to die. Oh, I think this is just a different way to this shrine that we've already been to. Which shrine is this one? Is this Verdure Bridge? No way, that's absolutely perfect because this is exactly where we needed to go. Okay, cool, so from the Verdure Bridge uh, thing right here, the shrine, you're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to the right. Dang, I hate when I freeze them in the air. Alrighty, let's go. So you're just going to continue this way to the right, and we're going to come across um, some kind of like lights or something like that. I think it might be down there. Yeah, it looks like it's down there. Oh my gosh, these freaking things. Oh my gosh. Whew. Wow. That was very close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so close, guys.
All right, let's go for the heal, the immobilize. Oh my gosh, I think my controller just freaking started glitching out. All right, there we go. That was actually pretty close right there with the like spiders randomly self-destructing and then myself just like getting lost. All right, so from here, we're gonna head over to the right and you can see like hopefully some kind of like lanterns over here in the distance. That's what we're looking for is these like two jack-o'-lantern things. All right, this guy's being a real punk. Oh, no wonder. We weren't in frickin' thrust stance, no wonder. All right, so I'm just gonna continue perusing to this direction right here. I feel like this is the right way, but I also feel like maybe it's the wrong way at the same time. All right. Oh gosh. I hate these things, they're so annoying, guys. And then with the archer too, on top of it, it is just like, no bueno. Alright, so let's just go up here and kill this dude. We're gonna find those frickin' lanterns, I know they're around here somewhere, guys. Come on, just die. There we go. Alright, well we're slowly running out of frickin' poison powders right now here, guys. It does look like that we haven't been this way. Oh, it does look like there's a new shrine right here as well. Okay, sweet. All right, so let's go back to this shrine right here. Now, what is this shrine? Okay, so now we're at Bonaball, but we didn't get to where I was trying to go, so we're gonna go back to the Verdure Bridge. That's what we're looking for right there, those two lantern things. All right, so here we are back at the Verdure Bridge. We're gonna try this again. Oh, there it is, it's over there. Okay, so how do we, how do we get over there? That's the question. All right, so let's go. Ah, here we go. Okay, much, much, much easier. Okay, and... I heard there's a great treasure hidden within. You seem small. Why don't you take a chance inside? All right, guys, so that is going to lead us to the treasure room here in a second after I grab this will up here. Sweet. All right, and this is probably one of the coolest places that you're going to find down here, guys. It's literally a room of treasure chests, and there's a bunch of them with great things. Sick. Find gold thread. That's our new helmet. Got a new gourd. Heck yeah, always down for that. And we have some enhanced ginseng pellets, also amazing. And more enhanced ginseng pellets and another treasure chest. And even more ginseng pellets. Now, if you go through here, all right, we're going to find a little mini boss right here. You'll see him right down there. Okay. And we're going to take this guy out real quick. He's not super hard. All right, just keep on basically wrecking him as best as you can. Oh, not like that. There we go. All right, there we go. Oh, 
Wow, he is really, really annoying right now. Come on. And goodbye. All right, so that is the proto armor worm. Next time we go back to the Zodiac Village, I'm going to show you how we're going to turn that guy into a spirit. Before we go, we're just going to run up here. We're going to grab this right here, which is not going to be a item. It's just going to be one of these dudes, one of these super annoying dudes. Oh, wow. Some of those guys go down so much easier than other ones, honestly. All right, so let's peruse back out of here. I'm going to run up and over here to the left just to make sure that we're not missing anything. Doesn't look like there's anywhere for me to go in that area. Okay, cool. And that is the treasure room in the prototype worm little mini boss fight, which is going to be relevant for later on. In the meantime, I'm just going to run down this area since I know I haven't really checked it out yet. I think we stuck to the right path up there instead of the left one. And so because of that, there's a completely different way that we can explore right here. All right, there's one of these guys. All right, it looks like there's an area for Will over there, but I have no idea where that leads. So we're just going to explore down here. This is one of those areas where, man, these freaking guys right here. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is one of those areas where it's good to just like explore. Remember, don't fight anyone in between these cocoons. They will like literally destroy you. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? All right, well, we're at a fork. That's interesting. We'll go to the way to the, to the light. I'm just gonna run past these little guys. They're super annoying. And let's see what is over here. All right, got another, oh, whatever this guy is. All right, there we go. Oh, got another guy right here. Wow, the frickin' poisons from these guys are insane. Oh my gosh. That was extremely close. That was extremely close, guys. And we almost triggered those little cocoons as well. Alright, so we're gonna need to make our way to a shrine up here in a second or else we're gonna run out of frickin' heals. All right, so let's see where this leads us. All right, we've been back over here before. I remember fighting this guy. All right, so let's just keep on going. All right, sweet. Hopefully I'm starting to get a... Uh... Oh, here we go. Here's a shrine right here. All right, looks like we got some new brew. Uh, got some new soaks. Massively increases the health recovery from using the gourd when at critical health. That one, I don't know if it's better than this one right here. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the one that I have. Let's go to make medicine, see what we can make. Enhanced ginseng pellets. These are really good, guys. I'm going to make two of those right now. They're super good, but they're hard to make and they're rare. I'm going to rest. All right, and from here we are going to travel, I think not to the Bona Vault, but to the Middle Hollow. All right, guys, so from this Middle Hollow right here, okay, we're gonna head to our next main boss fight. All right, and it's gonna be in this huge area of skulls. It's a crazy place. All right, but let's come down here, let's get this chest. That actually literally looks like the path that we were just running right there. I'm pretty sure that's literally exactly where we were. So anyway, we're gonna run back up here, back to where we were. What the heck? Don't tell me I can't get back up there. That can't be right. Ah, here we go, here we go. 
Okay, so basically just from that chest, you're just going to swing around the shrine right here. We're going to jump down. Okay. Um, I don't see anything around here. This looks like there's an ad trying to run out and attack me, but essentially, guys, you're just going to run past these things and look at this freaking boss arena right here. That's like thousands of skulls. Absolutely gnarly. So we know there's something gnarly coming up. Let's just get straight to it. All right, here we are fighting the centipede guai. This thing's crazy. All right, there we go. Boom, let's freaking get it, guys. All right, frickin' thrust dance for the win. Oh my gosh. And keel over, buddy. Oh, he looks pissed. Oh gosh, what is happening? That was crazy. I don't know what that was, but it was dangerous, guys. I'm gonna wait till he gets out of this rolly phase to freeze him. All right. I need to get my focus back up. Ow! Oh my god! What a brutal move. All right, we're gonna try for the frickin' transformation right here. I think he somehow poisoned my transformation. I'm curious though how it, how it... Okay, so the poison doesn't carry over. That's good to know. Wow, this dude is kind of wrecking me right now. Oh man, his frickin' thing is back. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, let's go. Let's freaking go. All right, he wasn't terrible, but he was also kind of a pain. Gonna fully heal my mana. Ooh, a gold tree core. Let's go. All right, sick, guys. All right, so basically from here, once you've jumped down into this area, you're gonna run through this area with the lanterns right here. And we are going to find the horse guai now in his, basically the only place you can find him in chapter four right here. What are these things? Oh my gosh, I remember these from like chapter one. All right, I think there should be another one right here. Wake up, buddy. There you go. Okay, there we go. Just gonna check over here, make sure that there's nada. I don't see anything. All right, so from here, doesn't look like I can go that way. I'm just going to jump down right here. We are going to continue over this path. Let's go down here and grab this will. Now, the horse guy will only actually appear at this area, guys, if you found him in all of his areas in chapter one, two, and three. All right, he will not appear here if you missed him at any of those areas. However, you can go back at any point in time and find him in those three areas, and then he will appear here. All right, and what he's gonna appear in is that gigantic cocoon right there. He's currently trapped in it, so we're gonna break him out right here. Grim and dire is this land. 
I came here from the New West for the wisdom of the Hundred-Eyed One. But he shut his doors and made me prisoner in this lair. Tales speak of these insatiable spider guise. They could use a strong male like me to consume and practice. <sighs> Much I owe you today, my friend. <sighs> Without your help, along the way, I would see no more of the Flaming Mountains. <sighs> All right, sweet. So that is going to be the location of the horse guy. Never tell of the destined one, my friend. They and we can. He marches and fights on a quest to bring back the great sage. After the sage fell, the king dismissed every one of us. He became someone, not himself. If the destined one is really the one who can bring back the sage, he can count on my humble support. All right, so we're going to exhaust his dialogue here. The parade was met only with silence along this path. But in turn, I've seen through it all. My mind is made, friend. I shall rely on none but myself. If none shall aid, I will act on my own. Should our paths cross at the Flaming Mountains, we'll toast to our reunion. <laughs> now, take great care. My glee for aid with my mind, if none sh should our paths now. All right. So from the horse squai, we're just going to continue forward right here. And we are making our way to one of the harder boss fights in the game, I would say. But I'm going to show you guys a, uh, a pretty chill way to take him down. All right. He is one of the last of the long dragons, guys. Oh god, ow. That came out of nowhere. Frickin' punk with his so much hit points. Guy has so much hit points. Alright, at least these little ones are not as painful to fight. One combo and they're down. Alright, so from here... We are going to be slowly making our way over to the next shrine. Oh my gosh, another one of these guys? Look how much freaking health on these things, guys. It's freaking crazy. Come on. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're just going to keep on moving through this stuff. Wow, there's just so many of these things. I'm just going to keep myself at four ATB points. Oh, my gosh, there's another one. All right, there we go. Come on. Got some stamina back. Okay, now that that is freaking done with, holy smokes, these guys have so much health, it's insane. All right, let's come over here. Oh my gosh, there's something else. All right, cool. All right, well, I know there's a way to go over here. Um, but where is it? I know there's, ah, here it is. The path through here. All right, so we're going to move, we're going to make our way through there. We're going to be running up through here. Okay. And we should make it to our second talisman point. All right, perfect. All right, that's absolutely freaking sweet. 
Okay, I'm just gonna run over here. There's gonna be a chest. We're gonna take out this enemy first. Okay, now that that is... Oh, it looks like there's two. All right. I feel like I'm getting my dodges back a little bit. What'd we get? What'd we get? Blood of the Iron Bull and a Mine Core? Okay, so we took the second talisman. We'll take this right here. I think this is the next uh, shrine point right here. Let's see which one this one is. All right, so here we are at the Cliff of Oblivion. Though I am fairly certain that we missed the... Uh, oh no, it's going to be up here, I believe. Okay, so... Let's just... Whoa, 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 what is down there? I don't know what's down there, guys, but... Something looks crazy over there. Alright, so we're just going to go through here and we're going to go into another little boss fight right here. Alright. Oh, maybe not. And we are now going to be fighting this thing. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Well, this dude's not not ultra annoying or anything. Ow. That kind of hurt. Ooh, that kind of hurt too. All right. Kind of a bummer. I missed my first immobilize. There we go. All right. Man, these guys are just freaking laying on the hurt right now. Okay. Let's go get him. All right. Wow, this dude is super annoying. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, there we go. Lost all our focus points, but at least we did some damage to it. Oh gosh, what is that? Oh man. That is crazy. That looks like pure poison right there. Oh man, that hurt. Come on. All right, where did he freaking go? I don't know where he is. Come on, come on, come on. Let's frickin' go. Stay down, bro. Let's go.
I've laid your path for you. But where will my path be? From now on, we're both on our own. Tell me, monkey, what's it like out there? Beyond these mountains? All right, cool. Well, pretty cool scene, honestly. She's a really cool character. I'm, I'm like, uh, pretty intrigued by her. All right, I'm pretty sure there is some stuff over here. Um, let's run over here, just make sure we're not... Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Extra mana, always down for that. All right, so basically from this hand, we are going to drop down right here. Okay, and then you're just going to basically continue down right here. We are heading over to the last of the long dragons. All right, and there's a couple different ways you can get there. You can either go right right here or you can go left. I'm going to go left. All right, we're just going to basically run through here. All right, there is a kind of a tricky part coming up with this bridge. I'll show you guys here in a second what I mean. All right, looks like we got a regular enemy. Okay, cool. All right, we got another one right here. All right, sweet. So from this point in time, you can see there's like a bridge right here of these freaking hand things. And they will kill you if you try to run across that stuff. So we are going to cloud step and we are gonna run across just like this. All right, we'll get this will. And we will continue across the bridge right here. Come on. All right, well, we definitely need to get to a shrine right here. We're a little bit low on mana for my liking, but at least we have full sparks right here. Oh my gosh, ow. Come on. Crazy how much freaking health these things have, guys. It is absolutely crazy. Not gonna lie. All right. Bring that guy down to size a little bit. My gosh, they're so freaking fast. All right, so we are almost there, guys. We are almost at the next, probably one of the hardest bosses in chapter three, chapter four, I would say. Oh my gosh, another one of these guys? Come on. Come on. Dang, it still didn't kill him. He has so much health, guys. It's freaking crazy how much health this thing has. Hey, but we got a mine core from a regular enemy. That just goes to show how freaking strong those regular enemies are. Oh my gosh, is that another one? Oh my gosh, guys. This is no joke, this area right here. But we're almost at the next shrine. Hopefully, uh... All right, there we go. Well, I definitely got to be careful because I don't want to freaking lose this fight right here. 
One, two, come on. Oh, come on, that was just lucky right there. Come on. All right, here we go. All right, okay. Honestly, total pain fighting those guys. Hopefully that is the last one. Three in a row was honestly kind of brutal. All right. Let's move on from here. We should be almost at the shrine. Is that another one of those guys? Oh my god, it freaking is another one of those guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take another one. And one of these. That's crazy. Come on. Alright, there we go. Hmm, do I want to pop some? Yeah, you can hear him right there. You know we're close to the freaking dragon. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. Okay. My gosh, I cannot even... Those things are so strong, it's crazy. This better not be not another enemy. Okay, thankfully it's just a freaking item. Okay, cool. So here is the next freaking shrine, guys, which puts us right before one of the hardest boss fights of Chapter 3. All right, so let's just get in here and rest up. All right, guys, so here we are at the Relief of the Fallen Long Shrine, which puts us right before the uh, Yellow Long boss fight. Before we go into it, I'm going to go into Reignite the Sparks. I highly recommend going into this fight with the Chubai Spear um, and essentially fully specking yourself out in Thrust Stance. All right, so from here, though, we have two points. When Stamina is depleted, a weaker lead attack finisher can be performed. Okay, essentially we just have that. I might put like a point into uh, mana right here. Um, yeah, let's put a point in mana. All right, so from this point in time, essentially in order to fight him, we're just going to run up here. And this one might take me a few goes, but I'll do my best to show you guys the strategy for taking him down. Alright guys, so here it is, the freaking yellow long fight. Now if you go into Thrust Dance and you just stay away from him, he will start to slowly walk towards you. Alright, and then you're just going to basically repeat this, right? You just run away from him. Alright, you start to slowly charge your thrust. Okay, and when he starts to make a move or when he gets within range, you just release it. Just like that, guys. 
All right, keep your distance, make sure he's not gonna charge you. And we're gonna do this for like the first half of the fight. All right. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna try and get away from him a little bit. We're gonna run, we're gonna run, we're gonna run, and we're gonna start charging again. As you can see, he's got a good amount of health. All right. He's gonna do another hit right there. Maybe a third. All right, that's like the bread and butter of his combos right there, but it can go multiple stages further, especially once you get into the fight later itself. I'm gonna pop my, uh, my ability right there on that dude. All right, there we go. Try to get up my focus just a little bit. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. All right, and then basically same thing and again in a second. All right, he's gonna do one hit from there. Maybe a spin move right there. All right, he's gonna drop down. Oh, a little bit early right there. A little bit early, guys. But looking pretty good so far. So we're just gonna start charging up again. Hopefully we get the triple focus. Boom. So he's almost at his second stage right here. Oh, whoops. All right, and there's that. You can just run away from that right there. All right, and we're just gonna keep on charging right here, guys. Almost there, almost there, almost there. And boom, let's go. All right, he's gonna go into his like harder phase here in a second. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, there it is, there it is. Just run straight at him and dodge. Every time, run straight at him and dodge. All right. If you need, you can shadow clone out of it. All right, that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, and we're just going to wait him out right here. All right, so we're just gonna charge up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Boom. Okay, sick. Getting closer, guys. Getting closer. So you're just gonna keep your distance still. All right, keep your distance again. Watch as he spins into the next move. All right, there we go. And boom, let's frickin' do some work on this boss right here. Come on, get up our focus points. All right, and we're gonna put distance between us again. All right. Oh, wow. Whoo, stay away from that. All right, there we go. And charge up your thrust again. Fire it off. Oh, gosh. I missed. Okay. I'm going to hit some Tiger Subduing Pellets, Amplification Pellets right here. All right, and we're just going to slowly charge and wait for him right here. Might be a little bit far away right here, not going to lie. But hopefully we don't run out of completely out of stamina as we're waiting for him to get in range. About four more steps, three more steps, and boom, let's freaking go. All right, so we're just going to take it nice and easy here, guys. We're going to wait for him again. All right, almost there, almost there, and boom. Oh, there we go. And spin, dodge, wait, dodge, one more. All right, and then you can counter him right there. Come on. Come on, and... Stay away from that. Oh my gosh, what an unrelenting punk. 
Oh my gosh, I accidentally went into it. Keep running at him and dodging. All right, and... Whoo! Oh my gosh, that freaking hurt. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to make just a couple changes, but as you guys can see, you can basically cheese that fight pretty easily. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to set spells. I'm going to change my summon here, and the one that works really well against him is actually the Red Tides, right, which is like the first wolf demon that we unlock. All right, other than that, I'm just going to set some new items, all right, so that we get some pretty strong stuff. Using the Gord grants a moderate amount of burn resistance, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, so let's go down into these. And we're not going to use any of these right here. What I am going to use is one of these, a long aura amplification pellet. And I think what else I will use is something that gives me high focus. Yeah, something like that. Um, let's see, septenary heartfire pill, mirage pill. All right, let's see what we got. Enhanced this upon use in Sligrants, a large amount of focus. Uh, this one gives increased attack. I'm going to put on one of those. And then for my tiger subduing pellets, I'm going to put on the enhanced tiger subduing pellets. So hopefully this like pushes us over into the damage that we need to take down this boss right here. All right. I think that's going to pretty much do it here, guys, for the preparation of this fight. Now let's go back in and let's freaking wreck this dude. All right. Let's see here. Enhanced amplification. And, man, do I want to use my long aura amplification. I'm going to save that for the second half of the fight. Um, I used the tiger pellets. All right, so right here, you're just going to trigger him. He's going to attack. You can freeze him. Oh, crap. I messed my... I messed up my freaking... Uh... All right, so you get off kind of an opening against him right there. And then we're just going to start charging up these abilities again. All right, and just basically baiting him into running into our thrust stance moves right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And boom. We'll take it back again. Almost there. All right, there we go, there we go. I'm a little close right now. Hopefully you get to two focus. That, that'll stagger him just a little bit. All right. As you can see, this is pretty good for conserving mana. Wow, that hurt. Whoo, that really hurt. All right, so hopefully we're not too close to him right here because he can hit you. All right, I had to let it go a little early right there just because it was getting too close for comfort. That was very close. All right, he's about to jump down. All right, have him start to slowly walk at you and we're just going to start to slowly charge this up again. Beautiful. Like I said, Thrust Dance is so good for this boss right here. All right, I'm going to give myself a little heal. And we're going to go in and do some damage against this dude. We're going to trigger his second aspect of his attacks. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, get away from that. Okay, and we're going to draw him back out. So we have him close to half health right here, guys. Okay, so here comes his stupid thing. 
All right, so I'm just gonna cloud step, let him do whatever he's gonna do. All right, he's gonna do a bunch of different attacks and we're gonna try and wait him out. All right, there should be one more. Ow, that freaking hurt. Try to build up our focus. All right, well, that was freaking close. Okay, and we're basically just gonna keep on baiting him out, guys. All right. Okay, that's the end of his combo. Come on. Whoo, that was smooth. Invincibility frames in the attack right there. Ow, that hurt. All right, we'll take a little bit of a heal. I'm going to use my long aura. Let's do some freaking damage, guys. Now's our freaking chance. Oh my gosh. That was very close. All right, so let's transform. I'm gonna wait for him to get out of this phase. Come on. Another pellet. And this one right here. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I can't dodge. Oh my gosh, I don't know what just happened there, guys. Literally, I just freaking lost the ability to press circle. All right, we're going to dodge underneath him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so close. That was all my freaking... Oh my gosh, so close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's go. Our sire's head was hung when he defied the celestial court. We dreaded the Jade Emperor's wrath and pleaded with Master Yuan to help us abscond from our waters. But he warned us we might hide for a time, but not forever. In the end, someone will come to claim our lives. He had more to say. Sires to sons, we are destined to die for the righteous cause. I trust him, yet I won't obey. May your path not once more be a mere thread in their grand design. Alright guys, and there you have it. That is the last of the long dragons. He is going to now with that, right? So we're going to take his weapon right here. 
which is going to give us something we need and his freaking transformation guys which is super cool transforms into yellow long gaining immunity to shock and the ability to see through the enemy each attack inflicts thunderbane all right sick so not the like smoothest run at the end there it was really close uh, i think that my controller is honestly like kind of going out because i'll be in certain battles and then just like square and circle will just stop working and i have to go into the start menu in order to bring it back which is why i've been going in and out in certain battles but first we're gonna rest right here but ultimately i think that i'm gonna bring uh this episode of black myth wukong to a close in my next one i'm gonna try and finish all of the rest of chapter four um which is you know a decent amount but we're gonna fight the you know the scorpion lord we're gonna fight dusk veil and we're going to fight the final boss of chapter four along with getting all this new stuff some new staffs new weapons etc but at the very end of this one i do want to go in here and craft the last piece of this armor set the golden mask of fury that's freaking awesome okay super super psyched on that all right, and for weapons, um, what do we have here? The Spike Shaft Staff. All right, so this is definitely a really good one that we are going to be using in the interim. I'm going to craft it right now, but I'm not going to equip it just yet. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to go in and look at these items right here or these weapons, and you'll see that we have now, we almost have everything we need to build the golden long staff, which is like by, by far and large, the absolute strongest weapon that we'll have gotten so far in the game. And like most, most of the weapons, each one focuses on a certain stance. So we've been using the chew by spear, which is a, uh, completely in thrust stance we just built the um, spike shaft staff which is what we're going to be using in the next episode this one's in smash stance right and then um let's see here where are we yeah right here and then this one is going to put us in pillar stance and this is what we're going to use to defeat the final chapter four boss which will put us into chapter five so yeah that being said guys i hope you guys have enjoyed the video today i hope that you guys have been you know enjoying the episodes of black myth wukong i hope you guys are enjoying your own playthroughs through it or if you're just you know hanging out uh to watch me beat the game then i'm happy to have you guys but yeah that being said i hope you guys uh had a great time today i did myself so yeah i hope you guys all have a wonderful night take care and peace